New into stock, we have a Jeep Wrangler 2.8 CRD Sahara Unlimited. It's four wheel drive, 2009 on a 09 plate. Um, it says here it's a standard tr truck with low miles, only done 55,670 miles. Uh, fuel economy, urban is 21.7, extra urban 33.2 and combined is 28.2. North 60 time of 11.7 seconds, top speed of 107 miles per hour out of 174 brake horsepower, 16 valve engine. Six month road tax, £313.50 and uh, 12 months is 570 and the car's got an MOT until the 11th of the 7th, 2020. It's uh, quite an interesting car, I've got to say. Good looking thing and some of these are uh, a chap called Afsol Khan converts them to uh, Chelsea trucks and they're, they're 70 odd thousand pounds. So there's plenty of scope if you just want to buy a basic car and then put a few additions on yourself. Um, but Apart from that, just running around in it, it's, it's a fantastic car. I, I had a four litre one quite a while ago when I worked for Chrysler. Uh, I'll tell you a bit about that in a, in a short while. But in the meantime, everything's really, really well made, really sturdy. Uh, looks like it's easy to replace if it ever wears out and it doesn't look like it's gonna wear out. So fashioned on the old Jeeps, the, the old military Jeeps, nice big bumper there. We've got, uh, what, five spoke alloys, the Wrangler Unlimited badge on the side here. In the top here, there's two panels which lift out from the inside. You unscrew the back and then there's a couple of little catches to take out. They're quite heavy, it takes about five minutes and then the whole roof is, uh, is missing from the, from the front over the driver and the passenger. It's, uh, it's really, really nice on a summer's day. I've got to say, and as I say, I have done that before. We've got rear privacy glass, We've got a, a side step, a side bar, protector, whatever you want to call it. And then the car's shod with uh, Bridgestone jewelers. Good tread on all the tyres. Uh, it's a really, it's a really, really good thing, especially if you like uh, off-road vehicles. It just looks like it's going to last forever, this. Um, I'll show you in the back. Now, if there's one thing that could get on your nerves, it's this back door. Uh, obviously, with having the spare wheel on there, it's quite a, it's not heavy, heavy. However, there doesn't seem to be a catch here to hold it in place. So <laughs> it's, uh, it's heavy if you were bending down and it cracked you on the back of the head. So you, you need to be careful with that. Perhaps just manufacture a, some sort of wedge to hold it open. And you've also got this that hinges up like so. So, Plenty of room in there, nice and handy for a dog, I would say. Um, fairly easy for it to jump into it and plenty of room to, for it to look around. Crash bars over the top there. This is kind of a, the, the roof is kind of composite. So you've got a crash bar or rollover bar over the driver and one over the back there. So, and now it's raining. <laughs> Shut the window first <laughs> and the self-closing back door. I'll just show you in the back. It's a bit of a high up on the uh, roof bar there is fairly low, so you've got to bend to get in as well. But apart from that, there's, that's where I would normally have my seat. Um, plenty of leg room, the seat back's nice and high, it's uh, relatively clean in the back. This is just as it's come in, uh, uh, our detail of Vance isn't very well at the moment, so he's off, we're just getting a bit behind with the, uh, with the cleaning and so on, hence I'm uh, videoing this and photographing it when it's, it's just come in, uh, but when he's finished with it, it will be absolutely like new. It, uh, it is a lovely vehicle. I have to say, it's, it's easier getting in than out. But uh, if, if it's kids in the back, they'll just hop on this sidebar there and, uh, and jump in. I'll just take you for a ride in it. To 
two keys, two remotes, proper ignition lock. Put your foot on the clutch before you turn the key and then uh, the vehicle will start. Um, as I say, it's a, a really nice, different, interesting car. It'd be a great second car for somebody. Fantastic towing vehicle, uh, off-road and so on. And just something that you can get. You can live out in the sticks and you can get anywhere uh, on the road and probably on your fields, on, on your farm as well. Now, there's um, a speech on the internet and a book by uh, Admiral William McRaven. And it's, it's called Make Your Bed. If you want to change the world, start by making your bed in the morning. And then he goes on to say, you'll get a small sense of accomplishment and that'll encourage you to go on to the next task and the next and the next. And if you have a really, really bad day, you come home and at least your bed's made. Now, I know what you're thinking, Baz, like, we haven't got all day, where are you going with this? We, we want to see the Jeep going. But I could do a lot more videos if I didn't have to keep chasing service history. And uh, it it's, astonishes me that such a little thing in a main dealer, they spend millions and millions of pounds on main dealerships, loads of, loads of equipment, and then they put some numbskull on the, the service uh, desk. And uh, I say this all the time, but honestly, I, places I've worked in the past, I, I've had more arguments with them than, than I don't know what. And millions and millions and millions of pounds must be wiped off the value of cars during the day just by going and getting it serviced at the, at the wrong place. No service stamps. This vehicle, it's got a service history. Fortunately, we've got all the invoices, or we've got the invoices, but no stamps in the book. Not, not, not a one from main dealers. And uh, you know, <laughs> if you want to change the world, make your bed. I suppose in the interview, when you next time you're interviewing a service receptionist. Ask them if they make the bed in the morning. If they say no, <laughs> fire them off up the road because they're never going to be any good. And, uh, you know, people like me are, are going to end up doing their job for them that should have been done years ago and it will just continue. Anyway, don't forget, make your bed. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll take you for a ride in this. I, uh, and, and the other thing is, let's just get going. I've worked for many main dealers, including a, a Chrysler dealer, a Jeep dealer. And uh, one thing I've learned is that you should, all, there's three people you should make friends with immediately. The uh, sales administrator, who is usually a, a young lady and has more power than the dealer principal and probably runs the place unbeknown to the dealer principal. Then the best mechanic, you should always make friends with them because they'll save you hours and uh, lots of aggravation with your customers. And uh, the other person you should make friends with is the person where you get your fuel. When I went to, uh, I went to a garage called Hatfields and they were Jeep dealers and it was a great garage run by great people with great people actually uh, in the in the garage too a great staff all of them fantastic outlook we we had a real good time uh, unfortunately the day i got my new demonstrator which was a chrysler well a jeep wrangler four liter petrol there was a tanker strike and petrol rationing and uh, you could only get i think I think it was six pounds. You were limited to six pounds worth of fuel. And it was my weekend off. Just got my new demonstrator. And of course, the first thing you want to do in a, your new car is go for a, a nice drive. And in that particular case, you could have the doors off and the, the roof panels out. It, you know, it was uh, you like GI Joe. Anyway, so fortunately I had made friends with the, the uh, 
young lady on the uh, at the fuel station, and she let me fill my Chrysler Jeep up right to the top, which was great. So my weekend off. Unfortunately, there was another lad there called Graham, another salesman, <laughs> and Graham had booked a dem or said he'd booked a demonstrate demonstration in for the weekend in my Jeep 4 litre which meant he got to go home in my car with a full tank of fuel and I got up to go home in his shitty Chrysler Neon so uh, but I, I, I did get him back on several occasions for that and uh, anyway sorry back to the car so it, it's, it's, kind, it's kind of Defender style driving probably better than Defender really the older Defender anyway um, but a lot less money there's we've done our research on these there seems to be a good market out there for them and, and to be fair within 10 minutes of us putting it on the internet we had an inquiry on it so uh, I'm, I'm thinking it, it won't be with us long but I've been wrong before it's quite a good spec you've got electric front and rear windows the I think the electric rear windows only operate from the front here so if you have kids they can't mess about with them that's handy um, everything about it is really really sturdy bonnet catches with rubbers holding them on and so on as I say these panels here these little kind of catches there's a catch at the front and then there's a safety catch here you have to unscrew these there's, there's two screws at the back and they, they seem to be fair they seem to go on for ages uh, I think that's probably a little bit of overkill on Jeep's part but you wouldn't want them flying off on the motorway so uh, you've got a CD radio and uh, we've got cruise control here on the right hand side of the steering wheel steering wheels all good you can see everything nice view of the dash nice view of the uh, switch gear on the side here with the uh, with your cruise control it's not that fast to 60 11.7 seconds but to be fair it's fast enough I'm going to take you down the motorway so it's a nice driving position steering's good good tires on this There's something to hold on to there when you're off-road and uh, the doors the, the check straps one of the things I said about the the back door there's uh, there's nothing to hold it open it's the same with the, the all the doors they're actually on a strap like a canvas strap not a, a, a metal check strap which which locks into place but again not, not too much of a problem really Got air conditioning there, switch there. But uh, all this panel from here to there all lifts off. And it's a, it's a really good fun vehicle, I suppose. Certainly be good for going off roading or uh, rising around on Southport Beach. Sports seats as well. The side steps and side protection bars, I suppose. Not too much to go wrong. I've not tried the radio yet, actually. They're, they're usually really good. Well, that's reasonably good. doing let's see it is six speed let's just see if we can get up to 70 there's a van coming up the outside there we're nearly at 70 there so cruise there set he's oops set he's down there we go 70 miles an hour 2000 rev six gear reasonably quiet and when you bear in mind this front screen is flat looks like you could just if you smashed it you could just put a pane of glass or a pane of perspex right across it 
and it would fit perfectly. Flat side windows up and down like the Defender. Headlights on the indicator store here on the left hand side and wipers on the right. The front there, let's just uh, yeah, squirt, they're, all, they're working great. What about rear wiper? Yeah, rear wiper squirt and that's working all right. Not sure why there'd be two bobbies on the side of the road there with no sign of the car. Must have broken down somewhere. Or I missed it. I think the number plate on the back of that caravan might be slightly illegal and not to uh, government specifications. So there's your, there's your air con, you just need to switch it on. There you go, only works when the fan's on. Hot and cold and direction there. Got ESP, two power sockets, your high and low for your four wheel drive. Cup holders here, front center armrest. That looks like it opens up, whether there's a lock on it. Um, here you can lock all the doors from one switch. And traffic officers uh, spoiling my route. Transport is not hanging about there. I'm going too fast. So it may be a bit of a plot of this, but uh, you can still go too fast in it. The back seats fold down as well. Got a proper kind of swan or gooseneck tow bar on the back. All the steering's fine. Although you have to remember it is a bit wider than it uh, than you think it is in the cabin. If you look in the mirrors here, it's a bit, well, not exactly like a Porsche Turbo, but it's got the wheel arches sticking out. Nice to drive. Good gear change, light clutch, plenty of room there as well, I've got my big boots on, 
big winter boots. glass so that uh, can't take them down too far yeah everything works so I'll just finish the test drive there anyway 